I work in tech for a movie studio in LA, and so I not right there behind all the cameras as we kind of are here behind the scenes. I'm a little bit more far, further removed. I'm more on the corporate side. I work there supporting uh, some of their applications, um, and I also do some real estate investing on the side as well. I would say I had a typical SDA upbringing. My parents are uh, Seventh-day Adventists. They grew up here in Loma Linda. My brothers and I are very different. We have different personalities. It was very interesting growing up. You're dealing with four boys, a lot of horseplay, or a lot of, um, you know, just being boys, and just a lot of sports growing up. So it's not as crazy when we get together as it used to be back in the day when we were kids. But I uh, wasn't part of the Adventist school system. I actually went to a public school my entire life and enjoyed it. I um, always had SDA friends. So most of my friends growing up were actually from the church. and. Um, so I was always surrounded by the Adventist principles and um, really felt like this was the right religion for me. Yeah, it was an interesting time in my life, that college period, especially as an Adventist. Growing up Adventist, you tend to th take things for granted. Church for me was uh, something I looked forward to, actually, during the week. It was a time to, to see, you know, friends. We started a media department from scratch, and so we had three or four cameras that needed operating, so my brothers and I, along with a lot of our friends, uh, started becoming cameramen and camera women. That was uh, a great way for us to plug in to the church, get involved, and uh, I'm really grateful for those, those opportunities, but at the same time, you kind of want to do something else as well. You're watching movies, uh, you're hearing about it on, on the school campus, about different things that are going on, different social events that might be happening on the weekends, and I kind of wanted to part participate in some of those events as well. So I finished grad school. I moved out to LA and uh, wanted to be part of a Christian or Adventist community while I was there. And I got on Google Maps and started looking for churches nearby and kept expanding my radius and just couldn't find a church that resonated with me. There were a few churches that did have younger families or even young adults my age, but they just weren't as warm or welcoming. So I would come into the church and uh, usually sit in the back, and obviously the elder or the deacon at the door would, would greet me, uh, but afterwards didn't really feel a connection with anyone else in that church. I didn't have many young people coming up to me and introducing themselves. Going to church just wasn't something that um, that sat with me right. It just it felt like a waste of time. I'd just go there and I just wouldn't connect with the with the sermon or with the the church body there. And so I decided to just uh, find other venues of of networking and of making friends. I did see my relationship with with God as well starting to be impacted by that. Yeah, I'd say that as with many things in life, things tend to happen slow. They don't always happen overnight. Um, if you look back on some of the things that you know we've all done, you realize that there was a small decision that you made, and then that led to other similar decisions as well, and you find yourself uh, pretty far away from the direction that you were hoping to go, and that's, that's what happened to me. I'm still on a journey, so I'm by no means perfect uh, today, but I, I've come a long way, I think, and I, I, I feel like I still have a lot to go, but during that period, I was finally living that life that I'd always wanted to live. Always, I was now able to do those things that I'd seen in movies and music videos, being able to go to house parties, being able to, to drink, being able to, to do all the fun stuff that a lot of the young people my age um, are doing. They were fun momentarily, but uh, afterwards, that fun or that pleasure doesn't last very long. That being said, I did keep the two pretty separate. Um, so I was able to kind of um, enjoy those activities and then uh, still be able to have somewhat of a relationship with God. Up against the road, searching high and low, never can tell 
For me, I'd say the turning point was actually the pandemic. And so after about six months of uh, living in LA, I made the decision to move back here to Loma Linda to be uh, with my parents and, um, well, just to work remote uh, from here in Loma Linda. Uh, started connecting with some of my old friends from my church uh, that I had grown up in. And that's when I started attending the young adult group here at Loma Linda University and started making friends here and just seeing how genuine they were in uh, the way they spoke and the way they acted, not just on the Sabbath in, in church, but also on the weekends or in the evenings when we hung out and did other extracurricular activities. That was what showed me that being an Adventist is enjoyable. And coming over here to the Praxis community, I found other young people that were perhaps struggling with the same things that I was. I didn't have to hide those anymore. I was able to be more genuine, more open with them. They're very excited to come to church, and that excitement is contagious. Church has a, a deeper meaning. It's got faith. It gives life purpose. I could go and be part of a bingo club, and that's cool, uh, but that's very superficial. It doesn't give me much purpose for my life. But coming to church every Sabbath, connecting with fellow believers, building each other up, not just for this life, but for the next one in heaven, that is very important. You don't find that outside of a church community. I'm on a journey and I've gone through a lot in the last year or so. I've gone through a lot in the last decade or so. And those experiences have made me more mature. Uh, they've made me more wise and I'm more sure of who I am, what I want and the direction that I'm going in. I just wanna be a good person uh, to spread you know, love, joy, peace, happiness to those around me because I think as Christians, that's what we're called to do is to reflect God to those in our community.